What do you think is the success of the waste management program? Well, um, as you know, Trinidad and Tobago is a heavily industrialized society, but more than that, we are what is referred to as a SID, a small island developing state. And that in itself, you know, poses certain challenges for, for such an entity or such a country. Um, as I indicated, we are heavily industrialized society, you know, whether it's manufacturing, whether it's the point of certain activities that are involved by the point of such industrial estate or oil and gas um, activities. Um, we are heavily industrialized and therefore these activities do generate a lot of waste. So, you know, we have over time been dealing with, with, with waste emanating from these activities, but obviously with the passage of time there's a need to keep up with growing international demands or international um, standards. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as I indicated earlier also, the, the, what the waste management rules are in draft. And uh, therefore, I expect once those rules uh, become effective, they will advance the issue of waste management. So I think there's some work to be done when it comes to managing waste. Um, having said that, I think, you know, over the period of time, we have done well managing, to, some, to a large extent, yeah. um, waste. But there's, there, there is obviously uh, work to be done when it, when it comes to the issue of waste and waste management. Do you think Trinidad and Tobago is enough to address the matter of waste management? Well, as I say, I, I think, you know, obviously, you know, with the passage of time and as, as, as activities continue to grow and as we continue to expand our manufacturing sector in our country, um, there will be the need for continuous um, improvement. There will be the need for, you know, um, looking at where the world is going and in terms of you know, what our international obligations are and addressing those and ensuring that it's addressed nationally and locally in the form of you know, standards, legislation um, to govern those areas, to govern the area of waste management. As I indicated, the waste management rules at the EMA is currently in draft form. And I'm, I'm hopeful that when that in fact becomes finalized and becomes law, will adequately address the issue of waste management. Right, so in Trinidad, as I said, we do have a lot of, uh, a number of, of, of very sound policies dealing with uh, waste management. However, that those have not been translated into uh, sufficient legislation as well as sufficient action plans. So because we are an industrialized country, um, there's a big industrial sector in our country, um, our waste management uh, actions have not kept peace with our industrial development and therefore uh, there are a lot of challenges existing with our existing landfills. We don't have a single sanitary uh, landfill in Trinidad at this point and we certainly have no hazardous waste disposal facilities and in a country where um, there are a number of different industries, especially petrochemical and downstream industries that generate hazardous waste, um, that is a big gap in our waste management system. So uh, there is a lot of work to be done. Uh, the government is, in fact, um, addressing some of, of those issues right now. But um, but until they address on a holistic basis, then we will have challenges um, with waste management that lead to uh, environmental problems as well as problems with public health. Okay. So what do you say? Is Trinidad and Tobago doing enough to curb this issue? Uh, I don't think they are doing enough at this point in time. We need to certainly uh, do more. Um, we have made some progress, uh, especially in the areas of recycling at this point in time, but there is certainly much more that needs to be done. Uh, the government has an uh, integral role to play, but uh, the people as well, the population as a whole, they need to understand the importance of proper waste management and simple things like anti-littering. Um, we need to get much better than that. We, we see all the pictures of um, you know, flooded uh, areas with a lot of plastic bottles and so on. Plastic yeah. bottles are really the tip of the iceberg. We see the plastic bottles. What we don't see are all the other elements of waste that are in our water courses because of improper waste disposal. Um, so there's a lot more that needs to be done, yeah. and uh, both government, uh, private sector, as well as the citizen citizenry, have, they have a, an important part to play. Okay. What do you think is the success of Trinidad and Tobago? Trinidad and Tobago is, we get, we're making some progress, but it's still moving very slowly. One of the main issues is that we are a small island developing nation. So the amount of waste that we are generating, while it is significant for our population, it's not, it's still a small amount. And so a lot needs to be done to find feasible ways to be able to turn that into a driving force for economy.
And are there any issues in particular? In particular, just a lack of awareness um, in general because people don't really think about what they're buying. They don't really think about what they are throwing away, where they are throwing it away. Um, we all know pollution is a big problem in Trinidad and Tobago, and that comes from a lack of awareness and honestly a lack of people caring because you have seen so many times people just throwing a bottle here, throwing a TV here, but they don't realize that these things could also have a lot of negative effects. So TVs, for example, some of the older TVs that we have, we, they have persistent organic pollutants in them. And so if you just dump it, that can now get into the environment. They also have a lot of times fluorescent bulbs, for example. I go to the water stain several times and I see these bulbs on the side of the road and they're breaking up and then they get in with green to water weight. And Mercury bulb isn't the toxic form, but when it mixes in the, in the environment, it becomes methane mercury, and that that day is when it becomes a problem because we can start to get into us through larger fish species, um, and once it's in us, it can have harmful effects. 